Hi, it's Michael. When you talk about branding of any business, radio stations are no different. Radio imaging is one of the key elements that helps bring a brand and the overall sound presentation of the station together, as well as the image portrayed by the business, in this case, the logo. I wanted to make a video and share with you one of my favorite imaging packages, memories, an air check, and logo from one of my favorite radio stations ever, 104.1 WTQR. I am most familiar with WTQR between the very late 80s and throughout the 90s, and very very little now as they are rebranded as Q104. But I wanted to talk about what many consider the glory days of WTQR, including myself, which would be throughout the 90s. I have a love for this station because this is the station that sparked my radio career back in 1994 when I met the overnight girl, Cindy, and was allowed to do a sit-in with her. And we're going to listen to her air check, one of my all-time favorite imaging packages, the Star Spangled Country package from TM Century from 1989. Another thing, the station had was the logo and to me WTQR up until its departure of the Winston-Salem 5th Street location in 2000 at which time many people I think considered the station to be changing for the worse but with respect to that they were moving into a new generation of country music I always thought that WTQR and still do they are the dominant country station in this market uh, they are a heritage station. It always was the perfect combination of from their personalities to the programming they provided. They always met those high expectations. Here's a look at their logo, the colors, the style. I think that's what really helped them out. They were very identifiable because that's, that logo never changed up until their rebranding of Q104. And this is what it looked like. And much to my surprise, you can still see this logo being used at a country station in Alabama, 105.1 WQSB. And while I'm not sure what imaging package they use or ever have, here is the Star Spangled Country package being used on 96.3 KSES in Texas. Now let's listen to Cindy's air check, and let's listen to the Star Spangled Country package in action on WTQR. What is this one? WTQR is today's hot new country with long sets of today's hot country music played just the way you like it. Back to back with Cindy Taylor at 104.1 WTQR. The best variety of WTQR. Coming up, we got John Anderson and the hot new one from Clinton Black. But right now, it's time to check in with the weather and find out what's happening. Weather. Your exclusive WTQR Triad Weather Channel forecast calls for overnight clear skies with the lows around 38. Sun is shining. Yeah. Thirdly, at 236, we have 68 at the original home of 12 in a row. 104.1 Of course, there was a lot more work parts than we were able to hear in this video, but I always thought no matter where you were in the music, it always made your station shine. It made your personality shine. TM Century, I think, done a great job with the Star Spangled Country package. It definitely lives up to its name. Well, before I finish this video, I wanted to share a photograph with you of the actual WTQR studio Up from, 16. I guess it was 2001, 2 or 3, while I was working overnight since board op WSJS at a 5th Street location, downtown Winston-Salem. This was the WMFR studio where WTQR once called home. This is the pretty much the same equipment that was pretty much used during the last period of, w of WTQR in the late 90s before moving to Greensboro. The, stage, the studio pretty much almost looks the same, uh, but uh, this was the same board used also. However, they used a, the very popular of its time, the 24-channel Audiotronics console, before this monster was moved in. <laughs> and here it is, WTQR old studio serving as WMFR's studio. I hope you enjoyed the video. hope it brought back some good memories for you. You know we love WTQR.